Apalachicola Bay and this area in general has long been focused on the water. The Apalachicola Bay System Initiative is focused on Apalachicola Bay, but also involves the areas around it because the bay does not operate in isolation as part of a wider ecosystem. This fishery has been operating for over a hundred years. There are generations of fishermen that are invested. And so this isn't just a fishery, it's a way of life. When an ecosystem crashes, it's usually not one thing that makes that happen, and it's usually not immediate. Uh, biology is resilient. And so when you get to a crisis state, like we have with the Apalachicola Bay fishery, it's a complex series of events that create that. We get asked a lot about is the fishery going to recover? Are you going to have work that will be valuable for aquaculture? The reality is, is we don't know how far we're going to be able to go with this until we really have a full understanding of the problems and how they interact with each other. There are three primary components. The initial assessment of where we are, where we used to be, uh, what's changed. Then the next phase will be a series of scientific questions to try and address some of the information gap. And then the, the final phase will be the development of a series of models and a management and a restoration plan so that we can try and bring the bay back to its former productivity. The first thing we know is that if you don't have a healthy ecosystem, you will never have an oyster fishery of any kind, aquaculture or wild. So we need to focus on what are the things that affect the quality uh, of that ecosystem, and, and that's what we need to fix first. The oysters are a keystone species, and what that means is that when the oysters go away, the ecology of the system changes. So what we're trying to do is to restore the ecology and the ecosystem services that provides. We have scientists, capacity and facilities that some of the other state and federal agencies may not have. And so I think we're well placed not to take over and supplant what is already being done, but to complement it and fill some of the information gaps. And so the solution isn't going to be simple and it's going to take a long time and nature has to bring it back, um, hopefully with our help. So we're not going to be able to magically fix this problem within the scope of the project. But what we can do is maybe set it along the right path and allow the ecology to recover. And so we're in it for the long haul. It's not a quick fix.